Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about how to sketch a polynomial graph just from some characteristics. So we have four characteristics that we're going to focus on in white here. And then once we make our graph, we're going to, on the right side of the screen, use the graph to describe the degree and the leading coefficient of f. So we've talked about in behavior of functions before and how they look. And we've done a previous video on that. I'll link that in the cards right now. And that's what's going to help us know, based on how the graph looks, what is our degree and our leading coefficient. So we have four different characteristics here. And the one I'm going to focus on first um, is our third one here. It says f of x is greater than 0 when x is less than negative 4. So what that tells me is once we're at negative 4 and to the, the left of negative 4, um, less than negative 4, our graph is above the x-axis. So I'm going to draw that part right there. And then this part tells me when our f of x is less than 0. So when x is greater than 5, our graph is below the x-axis. So I kind of have the, the beginning point and the ending point of my graph there. Okay. All right, so now let's think about some of these other characteristics that they've given us. Okay. Um, let's talk about this first one right here. Okay, so we have f is increasing when x is between negative 2 and 3. So between negative 2 and 3, so right here would be negative 2, and right there would be 3. So we don't really know how high our graph is going to go yet here at 3, but we do know like at 3 we're going to start going down, right? But prior to that we are increasing, okay? And so at negative 2 we are increasing right there. And another thing to note here, it says f of, f of x is greater than 0 when x is between 0 and 5. So that tells us from 0 to 5 on our x-axis, our graph needs to be above the x-axis. right? So here's 0, and let's just connect that to right there. And we know from 0 to 5 it's going to be above. So I can go ahead and draw my curve to right there. So, right? so now I have this part of my graph that is good to go. And it satisfies those characteristics so far. So like this one right here, we have satisfied everything there. Now, going back to our first one, we know that this part of our graph would connect here because this section between negative 2 and 3, our graph should be increasing. And what that means is from left to right, we have a positive slope, right, if we just focused on that part of the graph, okay? All right, so now we can take a look at our second bullet point here. It says f is decreasing when x is less than negative 2. So that would basically be this section that we have right here in our graph. And so decreasing means from left to right, we want to have a negative slope, right? So we've done that, looks good. And then when x is greater than three, we have a decreasing slope as well. And so we kind of already have established that with this piece right there going down, okay? So we're just checking to make sure we've satisfied all of these. So we're good there. And now on the last one, it says f of x is less than zero when x is between negative four and zero. And so negative four and zero would be this section of our graph right there. And notice how that's below our x-axis and also when x is greater than 5, so that point right there. So we are good. That's what our graph would look like. And so now we can think about the previous video that we talked about in behavior that was in the cards a minute ago. And now we can see, okay, this is looking like an odd degree function, right, because that's the one that looks kind of like a wave. Um, the even degree is more like an M, right, or like a W, kind of has two humps in the middle part. Now our leading coefficient is either going to be positive or negative. So with this one, we are going down initially, and then we finishing down. So that means our leading coefficient would be a negative number. If it were positive, it would look more like this, okay? So negative function, or excuse me, negative leading coefficient, odd degree. And that is how we can take some characteristics and sketch a polynomial graph.